Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a massive candle and home fragrance empties. I haven't done one of these videos in like three and a half months. That is definitely by far the longest I have gone without doing a candle and home fragrance empties. And I don't know, like I feel like I keep saying this, but for some reason I'm just like not getting back on board. I would like to get back to a point where I am doing these monthly again, just because I prefer to be able to bring you guys more content, but also because it, this is just such an overwhelming pile for me of candles and things that I'm looking at this like, mm, mm. so, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is going to span like halfway through December until uh, like the end of March, like today is March 31st. So like I said, this is pretty huge. Grab a snack, grab a drink, whatever. I don't have any chit chat. So let's jump right in and get started. Let me tackle this pile. So again, I'm going to start with anything like Christmassy or wintry and then like go more recent. So the first one that I used up was Cranberry Pear Bellini. Oh, and just for context, I have not purchased a Bath and Body Works candle or any candle, I think. Actually, no, that's why I've purchased one Homeworks candle. Except for one Homeworks candle, I have not purchased any candles since Bath & Body Works' candle day. So I have really been working through my entire stash and yeah, this is just like part of it. So again, I finished up my Cranberry Pear Bellini. I purchased this at candle day. The keynotes are Fizzy Pear Nectar, Sparkling Red Cranberries, Lush Apricot, and Tart Black Currant. And I mean, granted, these are gonna smell like smoky and gross anymore. But um, when I was burning this, it's not like I wouldn't repurchase it, but I just thought it was fine, you know, whatever. It did remind me a little bit of um, a Sparkling Pear Riesling. Like it kind of gave me that like kind of in your face, a little bit cloying wine scent. So again, I would be open-minded to it next year, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to find this. So again, it was a nice candle, but you know, I can move on with my life. The next one that I used up is Peppermint Hot Chocolate. This is actually one of the last winter fragrances I used up. The keynotes are Sweet Peppermint, Silky Milk Chocolate, and Sweet Cream. I'll be honest, it wasn't horrendous, but I didn't really love it. So to me, it just did not smell... I don't know. I think I just wanted the chocolate to be a little bit more robust, and it just kind of wasn't. Like, something about it with the chocolate I think just falls a little bit flat. It smells a little too icy, if you will, for me. Whereas I, again, I wish it would have been a little bit more or have a little bit more depth with the chocolate and just, it just didn't. It wound up kind of reminding me of like a spiked hot chocolate. Like there was something kind of biting about it. That reminds me of like a spiked, cho a spiked hot chocolate I used to make for my family like for Christmas. But anyway, so like it was fine. I'm not mad that I tried it, but I would not repurchase it. It just was not enough of like a robust chocolate that I wanted. Something that is always a repurchase is Fresh Balsam. So this is not from Candle Day. I purchased this, I wanna say in 2021. Yep, yeah, so it's manufactured 2021. So again, Fresh Balsam is always a repurchase for me. I love it. I love a strong candle and Fresh Balsam is like always it for me. So the key notes are Woodland Balsam, Crispy Eucalyptus, Fir Branches, and Cedarwood. I know those notes change from time to time, but the fragrance doesn't. So always good to have. I do have one last winter fragrance that I may or may not burn before this coming holiday season. I have one tree farm candle from Candle Day, but that's literally it. I don't have any other um, like Christmassy or wintry fragrances. So I did use my Fresh Balsam, so I um, did not use my tree farm. So we'll see. Um, I, I'll be honest though, I have, burnt, I have burned Fresh Balsam in the summer before, and I know it's a little bit weird, but I actually didn't mind it. So I'm open-minded to the notion of perhaps using up my tree farm over the summer, or maybe I'll wait until um, this coming holiday season, but we'll see. So anyway, that particular one, I just kind of had waiting in my collection from 2021. So I decided to use it up because I always love to use a fresh balsam. Another one that has been a repurchase for me for a couple of years now is blueberry sugar. So I'm kind of like whatever on the packaging, like it's fine, but I have found that like with Bath and Body Works wanting to do like the foil type stuff, it definitely does come off as I burn the candle. Um, nonetheless though, I do enjoy the fragrance of blueberry sugar. So the keynotes are sweet blueberries, brown sugar, graham cracker crust. This to me is not a bakery scent. Um, and again, <laughs> like it's kind of like dusty and gross anymore, but I do love it when it's actually like a new fresh candle and it hasn't been sitting in an empties bag for like three months. 
Rachel. Um, but yeah, blueberry sugar to me honestly smells like a blueberry hard candy. Like it really does not smell like a baked good in the way that like blueberry crumble does. To me, it's like a hard candy, but to me, it's still appropriate for winter. I still like it. And so I do see myself repurchasing it. It's definitely like a staple in like my Christmas slash winter um, candle purchasing for sure. Speaking of staples for that time of year, another one is crushed candy cane. I actually prefer this over twisted peppermint. Um, I just love that it smells so incredibly authentic. Like it just smells like an actual candy cane plus the coating or whatever that's on it. It just smells exactly like that. I love that Bath and Body Works has brought it out in soaps. I love it in a candle, always a repurchase. So the keynotes are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf. Frosted mint leaf, I'm like whatever about. But yeah, it definitely smells like an authentic uh, candy cane with that coating, whatever that coating is. I don't know. It just smells like it. And it's so, so good. Definitely a repurchase. The next one, again, is also a kind of Christmas time staple for me. It is frosted cranberry. I get a frosted cranberry every single year. Um, and this one still actually doesn't smell too bad. Um, but, you know, it's like a sweet... I don't know if I want to say perfumey, but not quite edible cranberry, but I still really like it. The keynotes are iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka beanie. I'm wondering if it's like the woods and the tonka bean that make it kind of like not edible. See, I wouldn't quite say like perfumey per se, but I definitely would not eat a cranberry that smells like this. So, um, however, I still love it. Frosted cranberry, always a good um, option for me. I love to pick them up. A couple more that I burned over the winter. I actually burned one of the blends that came out during summer, SAS. It is the blend of pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam. The keynotes are woodland balsam, fir branches, fresh pineapple juice, and mango. So when I first saw this, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like this is such a weird combination. But then it dawned on me that I do actually like burning pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam over the winter. So I'm like, well, carpe diem, here I am. I'm just gonna pick one up just to try it and see if I like it. So um, I will say it smelled pretty evenly like pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam. Both of those are powerhouses for me, especially fresh balsam. Um, and you know, like I said, I decided to try it because I do burn these at the same time of year, like ish anyway, so whatever. Um, and yeah, it was fine. Honestly, it wasn't something that I feel like I need more of. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it's worth, but I feel like I could live the rest of my life not having any more of these. So like, <laughs> I don't know, like it was fine, but it just definitely smelled like a very strange blend of tropical and Christmas. I don't know, very odd, but anyway, so not that, ma I'm not mad that I tried it, but I think I can move on with my life for sure. The next one that I used up, it got a little bit like, janky. So this no longer clearly has um, a wraparound, but this was Bright Christmas Morning. By the way, um, the keynotes are ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. It's definitely like a perfumey kind of mixed fruit blend, almost like a perfumey um, like Hawaiian ponger, like fruit punch is how I would describe it. So there's nothing about this to me that was necessarily Christmassy. It was just good to break up the monotony of like, um, of, you know, like candy cane, um, the fresh balsam, things like that. It's something different. Um, when I was burning it, I was pretty met on it. Like it was a very medium throw. Um, it did not burn especially well for me. I wound up popping it into my candle crock and that's why it's so clean here. Like I burned here and then popped it into the crock here and then I was able to pop it out later. Um, and yeah, just while I was burning it, like clearly I just had an issue where um, like the label was coming off. So I just pulled it off altogether. So um, I would not repurchase Bright Christmas Morning for next year. Not horrendous, but not something I feel like I really want again, but I'm not mad that I tried it. All right, and then the last item that I used up during winter was something I've purchased a couple times. This is peppermint sugar cookie. This got pretty nasty. Um, it didn't have a great burn, so I wound up having to cotton ball it a lot and just kind of like babysit it and mess around with it. So that was not ideal, but I do like the scent overall. The keynotes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies. This is a great scent. Um, I feel like I can I can have like one a year and be done. So I definitely am not gonna go out of my way at like summer SAS to try to find any of these. I can most definitely wait 
um, until December, but um, at Candle Day, I imagine that I will pick up another one of these. Okay, so now let's get into anything I've been using since the holidays. The first one is one of my precious, my babies, my coconut lime verbenas. So if you know me, you know I love this scent and I went ham when these came out, um, what, January of 2022, I wanna say. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of these. I wanna say I have six more, um, but yeah, I have just kind of been using them slowly just because this is not a fragrance that tends to come back at Bath & Body Works. So the key notes are zesty lime juice, creamy coconut, lemon verbena. Those notes have changed a little bit over the years, um, but this is authentic to the body care that we've had. We've had candles in um, coconut lime verbena in the past. So yeah, it's just authentic to what we've had. Um, again, I'm burning through them kind of slowly just because they are very important to me or like special to me, um, but I do appreciate them for what they're worth. So um, the throw is pretty good. Strength, I would say, is about a medium. So not too bad, a little bit schmutzy, but as long as it's not crazy, I really don't mind. So yeah, coconut lime verbena, there's plenty more where this came from for me. The next one that I used is a pineapple mango. So I believe I have maybe one more of these, but I do like to usually have at least one in my collection. The keynotes are fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripe and raspberry. Those have been the notes for a while. And yeah, it's a very cloying, kind of fakey, syrupy pineapple scent. Like I definitely get the pineapple first, but the mango kind of smooths it out. So it's not like totally 100% acidic pineapple. Um, but yeah, it's very syrupy, very cloying. I know some people don't like this um, because it's so fake, but honestly, I don't really mind it. It's a good pick-me-up. Like, I love to burn this, and I kind of mentioned it earlier. I love to burn this around January or so when the new year has passed, and I'm just kind of sick of winter because I'm definitely not a winter person. This It just kind of lifts my spirits a little bit. So yeah, that's why I like to have this pineapple mango. Definitely a repurchase. The next one that I used up is a Market Peach, also from the same collection. This I want to say is, uh, looks like it was a Candle Day candle from 2021. So the keynotes on Market Peach, and by the way, this is just Georgia Peach. I don't know why they changed the name. Um, but yeah, Juicy Peaches, Dew Covered Leaves, Hint of Vanilla. Those are the same notes we've had for a long time. Um, yeah, Georgia Peach is just what this is. Great scent. My husband likes it. Always a staple. Would repurchase. The next one that I used up is my second of two Prosecco and Peaches. I believe I used up one, I want to say it was before I moved to Kansas City. I don't remember, but like definitely last year I used up one and this is just the second. So the key notes are bubbly champagne, juicy, pin, uh, juicy peach, and hint of vanilla. So yeah, it's pretty similar to Georgia Peach, but there is something a little bit bubbly or effervescent about it. Um, I clearly liked it enough to buy two and I did enjoy it while I burned it, but because I know I can always get a market peach or whatever, I'm not necessarily going to like go seek this out, but you know, if it ever comes back, I would see myself repurchasing it. The next one that I used up is a sugared lemon zest from White Barn. Let's see, the manufacturing date was uh, 2022, day 315, so toward the end of 2022. The keynotes are tangy Sorrento lemons, bright lemon zest, and fresh sugar cane. This is the first time that I've ever had this candle. I feel like lemon candles can be very hit or miss of like smelling good or smelling like a cleaner or whatever. This I think was pretty solid. So I want to say it edges toward cleaner like a tiny bit. It's not astringent per se. It's not chemical. But there's definitely nothing like, I don't know, like bakery about it. Not that, the, like, not that the name suggests that there would be, but you know what I mean? I mean, it just, yeah, it definitely smells like the zest of a lemon. It's very um, kind of like sharp and in your face, but honestly, I enjoyed it. My husband did too. I would repurchase it. And yeah, I was glad to try it out because I don't think I've ever had it before. And the last Bath & Body Works candle that I used up is from... 2021 this is blueberry pie so this came out in the same collection as the coconut lime verbena and i did pick up a couple of these i think i had like two and then this is just the second of the two that i had the keynotes are juicy blueberries flaky crust and sugar crystals 
And yeah, it smells pretty authentic. It smells just like blueberry crumble. So if you're a blueberry crumble fan, um, definitely pick up blueberry pie whenever it comes back out. I definitely get a, a really significant like crust note. The blueberries are certainly there. It's like a dark, rich blueberry and I do enjoy it. So again, not something I would necessarily hoard, but I would pick up a couple of them at a time because I have used up two and I do like them. So that is it for um, my Bath and Body Works and White Barn Candles. I'm going to quickly get into um, just some wallflowers that I've used up so I can kind of like round out my Bath and Body Works and White Barn stuff. So I did use up two wallflowers. I don't have the tags anymore, but these are both um, Frosted Cranberry. I had these in my office at school. So um, I don't have anything going at school right now just because I'm kind of in like a weird phase where I'm like switching them out this weekend so my plugins are actually at home with me um but yeah for about like the month of December ish like from like Thanksgiving to like winter break I had frosted cranberry in and I do run two of them because for an office it is a pretty big size like it used to be a computer lab so it's not quite the size of a classroom but not like a normal office either. So yeah, a pretty good size. So I do run two um, wallflowers in them. And Frosted Cranberry was a great scent, very appropriate for, um, you know, like the holidays and that time of the school year. So I would repurchase that. I really don't go crazy over wallflowers. And in fact, this is the first like year, I guess, or like 12 months that I've really used them. So I really don't get tempted by wallflowers, but I do continue to have them in my office. So um, like in the future, I'll buy more. It's just that I'm still actually pretty good for right now. Um, I also have two other wallflowers that I recently pulled out and that's why my um, plugins are home with me this weekend because I'm about to switch them out. Um, but yeah, this is two in Honeysuckle Peach Spritz. I picked these up at Winter Semi Annual Sale. The keynotes are Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches, and Orange Zest. And yeah, this is just um, Honeysuckle and Peach Tea or whatever that scent was that came out in the summer of 2021. It's the same scent, it's just in Home Fragrance. I actually heard from a couple of people who would like walk by or come into my office to work with me or whatever, that they have actually liked this scent more than other scents I've had this year. So, and like they would ask me what it is and whatever. So this was definitely uh, the most popular so far with other people. Great kind of like light-ish, uh, I think a good spring transition scent. The last two items I have from um, Bath and Body Works and White Barn are two room sprays. Like this is how you know it's been a long time since I've done this, two room sprays. And these take me forever to get through. So I have a crushed candy cane. This one's kind of old. It's from 2021. Smells exactly like the home fragrance. Smells just like the soap. Smells just like a candy cane. It was awesome. I had it in my bathroom. So a little bit of a strange place, I guess, for it. But I mean, how many rooms in your house really smell like candy canes? So um, yeah, I would definitely repurchase. It was definitely a good one. I also had a good kind of any time of year one and endless weekend. This one is also from 2021. But yeah, I just go through them so slowly. Like they're great, but they take forever. So um, I, I have one. I have a room spray in vanilla bean, I think. Um, and yeah, it's just taking me forever to get through, which is great, but you know, that's why also I really don't go crazy for room sprays. They are great products, but you know, I, I don't get tempted by them like I do like other things from Bath and Body Works. All right, so I do have a couple, and I told you this is like a massive video. Um, I do have a couple more things that are not Bath & Body Works. I do have one more candle. It is from Yankee. So this is my Yankee candle in Fresh Mint. It is a large jar. So it is used up. If I take off the lid, it really does not smell like anything. I can get like a tiny hint of the mint. But honestly, it almost smells a little bit more like celery. Like it's that light. And it's just like light vegetal. Yes, kind of smell like celery, honestly. Um, yeah, so generally speaking, I don't burn my Yankees because they tend to not be strong at all. And for what I pay for them, like I expect more. Um, however, I will buy these um, if I really want that fragrance and I'll pop it into my candle crock. And that's exactly what I did for this. So I started melting this around um, St. Patrick's Day because I just love to get into the spirit of it. My favorite color is green. Um, so yeah, it was a great scent. I love Fresh Mint. It lasted probably about a week in my candle crock. Um, and I just kind of, I just turned off the crock when I really couldn't smell anymore. 
like if I would like come home from the gym or the grocery store or whatever, like sometime when I wouldn't be nose blind to it anymore and I couldn't smell it anymore, that's how I knew to turn it off. So um, I can definitely see myself repurchasing fresh mint in the future. By the way, if you're interested in um, like the candles I'm burning in real time or um, like wax I'm melting, definitely check me out on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'm gonna put that down below, but every Friday pretty much I do like a fresh burn Friday. So I'll pull a new candle or some new wax or whatever, and I'll post on Instagram stories what I'm like, what I'm burning or melting, what I like to blend together. Um, so if that's kind of your bag, definitely check me out on Instagram. I did feature this uh, on St. Patrick's Day, by the way. So if you're interested again in, in what I'm burning or using up in real time, you can see it there. So I also finally have a couple of clamshells of wax. The first one I'll show you is from Yankee. This is red raspberry, always a great scent. I love red raspberry. It just smells like a juicy, bright uh, raspberry. So yeah, just like a tangy, like red berry. I love it, I have more of these. So you will see more of these from me in the future. All right, and then the last two things like in this whole video are two clamshells from Walmart. They're both in, uh, from Better Homes and Gardens. I have sweet watermelon buttercream. This is probably my favorite wax like ever from Walmart. It is so good. It has all these notes. It says sweet watermelon, honeydew, strawberry leaf, uh, sugar peony, whipped buttercream, vanilla bean, and sugar scent notes. Like I feel like that's how like Amazon product descriptions are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it says all those notes. Ultimately what I get is like, if you imagine like a watermelon Kool-Aid, Honestly, it smells like that to me and I flippin' love it. It's so great. Any time of year in the winter, I love it as like a pick me up, beautiful spring day. I love it because like of the vibe, whatever, so good. Like if you smell no other wax from Walmart, check out Sweet Watermelon Buttercream. It is so, so good. And then the very last one is again a repurchase that I've gotten a whole bunch of times. This is again, Better Homes and Gardens. It's Meyer Lemon and Basil. Uh, it says the notes are Meyer lemon, lime, bergamot, basil, orange, and white pomelo. So again, it's just like a ton of notes, but to me, it just smells like, um, just a lemon, like almost cleaner lemon and basil. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but I really like it. Um, it kind of gives me like clean apartment vibes. So whenever I'm like, maybe I have the windows open, maybe I'm cleaning or whatever. I just want something kind of like fresh and zingy. This is always a great scent for that. So like fresh, zingy, kind of earthy from the basil. I love it all around. So, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe like I will not go another three and a half months with candle empties. Again, I would like to get to a point where I am once again doing this every single month so that you guys have... Um, like more content for me, my content is more timely. I kind of want to get into that mode. I think maybe I'll make that a goal. Um, I don't know, starting in April, I guess tomorrow is April 1st. So yeah, I think I'll make it a goal to definitely have an April wax and home fragrance empties because I am getting through my candles more consistently lately. So I do have a lot of good stuff to share. So um, as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And like I mentioned, follow me on Instagram, especially if you're into candle and wax stuff. I do post Fresh Burn Fridays virtually every Friday. So Schoolhouse of Iron, it's down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.